OKC police are investigating after a 16 year old was shot and left in critical condition and police. They're still there now searching for the shooter. KOCO Shelby Montgomery. She is live at the scene near Southwest 36th and Walker with details. Just in Shelby. Good morning. Yes, police are still here investigating. So it looks like we have two separate scenes. The one right behind me is where police say that 16 year old was shot. They say he was waiting there with a group of other people for a bus stop when that person drove by and shot him. And then later, right after he was shot, he came over here to this scene right next to the school where they were able to flag down a, a security officer from the school there. So police say it started with a fight early in the morning. Police still working on getting more information on how that led to the shooting. A a few minutes later, as they were waiting for the bus, that 16 year old was shot again. That student was treated here at the scene, then taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Uh, life threatening injury, uh, but right now he is um, he's alive and at the hospital. So it was just one person shot, one person shot, and we do have some suspect information that we're working on. What do we know about the suspect right now? We don't really have um, any information that we're releasing right now. We're still working on identifying from video um, and, and witness statements. Um, we have a silver vehicle and we're, we're narrowing things down and we'll put that information out as it becomes available. Immediately after the shooting, the school Capitol Hill was placed on lockdown. Then it was moved to what they call a secure, meaning the doors are locked, but people are still able to move freely about. At last check, they are no longer on that secure lockdown. But if we take a closer look, it looks like parents are lining up at the front door, taking a lot of their students out. I just spoke with OKCPS, who says this will still count as an unexcused absence. They will be sending out some information to parents in just a little bit, but they do advise them to not pick up their students unless they absolutely have to. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.